in the name of Jesus drought in your life that even when it is physical rainy season it is still dry season spiritually financially and otherwise I decree and declare let the rain begin to fall let the rain begin to fall let the rain begin to fall you welcome to another spirit filled message on christocentric message if you're new to this channel i would entreat you to hit on that subscribe button and then to like this video as well i would want you to share this message across because we believe that as this message is coming forth it's going to bless you your graces are going to be imparted unto you and then god is going to visit your home thank you for watching stay blessed what is faithfulness right faithfulness means continuous unrelenting loyalty and commitment please write i want to be very simple so that every one of us will understand continuous unrelenting loyalty and commitment be it towards god be it towards men or be it towards a cause unrelenting continuous loyalty and commitment towards God towards men or towards a cause faithfulness faithfulness is such a powerful kingdom principle that God himself called one of the names of God is faithful he is not just he doesn't just have faithfulness he is faithful that is the quality of God that makes him trustworthy it is the faithfulness of God I remember preaching a message was it last year or year before last faith in the faithfulness of God hallelujah to be faithful means to be dependable it means to be loyal it means to be trustworthy please i want you to pay attention tonight this simple kingdom principle has been the reason why many people have failed to rise from their current level of grace or current level of blessings to the next but tonight as light comes you will arise in the name of jesus christ hallelujah listen the blessings of god upon a man's life always come in levels write it you must understand this this is how the kingdom functions there's no other way no matter how anointed you are the blessings of god the anointing of god the grace of god comes upon a man's life in levels hallelujah the blessings of god come in levels listen just this this revelation enough this one i just told you is enough deliverance for many people who want to get blessed you know all this sharp sharp mentality right and the youth in nigeria have this mentality the average young man is in a hurry we want to be blessed we want to make money fast hallelujah a man starts a ministry now and in one year he wants to have fifty thousand people he wants to have 30 branches let me tell you the truth if you understand the structure of god's kingdom and how he blesses men you will stop struggling in your life many of the things that people call satanic oppression is not satanic oppression is the consequence of the violation of god's order of lifting people hallelujah a man starts a ministry and all of a sudden he sends all kinds of young people to the 36 regions of this nation and say go and start the branch of the church the kingdom does not work that way in the parable of jesus he said the kingdom of god is like a seed 
have you read that before the kingdom of god always starts small and then it begins to rise and the factor the report card is faithfulness hallelujah matthew 25 Matthew 25 very interesting parable that Jesus gave verse 14 Jesus is giving us a parable now see listen the Bible is not a storybook the Bible is the wisdom of God and if you follow through especially the teachings of jesus you will see the order and the operation of the kingdom the way the kingdom was supposed to function verse 14 it says for the kingdom of heaven is as that means likened to a man all right traveling into a far country and he called his servants three people please three people come you are the servants just stand three people where's the third person just stand face the congregation for the kingdom of heaven is as a man traveling into a far country and called his own servants and delivered unto them goods look up the bible says they are his servants that means he has been watching them is that true do you agree with me for them to be his servant it means they had a period of time when they were serving him and while they served him he kept watching and on the strength of his judgment and his findings next verse and unto one he gave what five talents right unto the second he gave what two talents and to the third he gave what what was the factor it says according to their several ability in other words their capacity to manage that resource are you following me now not according to their prayer request not according to the prayer point they dropped during miracle service according to their ability that had been proven with time and you will see at the end of the parable that the man did not make a mistake ready next verse then he left he that had received the five talents went and traded with the same and made five more talents so this guy went and brought back profit verse 17 likewise the other who received two he gained another two all right then the third one it says but he that received one went and dug the earth you sow seeds not talent what you sow in the earth is a seed are you getting my point you don't sow talent in the earth and he took that talent and sowed it in the earth and he the lord's money after a long time aha this is another principle what is jesus teaching us here that every time god trusts you with whatever level of grace he will come back there will be accountability are you getting my point there will be a defense there will be a supervision and the report card is what will determine whether you will rise to a new level or not please listen to me and many of you you will know the reason why although you are anointed you've not backslidden but you may never rise to another level until you pass the test of this current level hallelujah so he came back to ask the servants verse 20 so he that had received five talents he now came to the master right and brought five more in other words you gave me five master i went and i faithfully used it and this is the prophet the one that had two okay listen 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 it says the lord said unto him please go back to verse 20. behold i have gained besides them five talents more let's see what the master said verse 21 and the lord said unto him well done good and did he say good and hard-working servant good and faithful servant 
thou has been what faithful are you seeing now that's the quality i gave you certain gifts i gave you certain opportunities i gave you certain anointings i gave you certain graces i connected you with certain people he said you have been faithful over a few things what's the reward it says i will make you ruler over what many things did the guy pray for it did he fast for it he just showed himself faithful and the lord said i'm ready to take you in other words your faithfulness is your report card that you qualify to enter the next level enter thou into the joy of the lord 22 he who had received two talents came and said you did this and that and that verse 23 the lord said unto him also same word well done good and faithful servant thou hast been faithful over a few things i will make you ruler over what this is jesus teaching he's teaching us how the kingdom works let's see what happened to the third person 24 and he which had received the one talent came look at the guy this is the one talent guy now just, just watch carefully he said lord that's him talking now after a long time of god entrusting him with an anointing after a long time god gave him five members and gave him one year and kept watching what he was doing with the five members are you getting my point he kept grumbling and comparing himself with other people and doing all kinds of things and here's his report lord i knew that you were a hard man look look at this guy he's talking to the man who gave him the gift lord i know you are a hard man reaping where you have not sown can you imagine what did they call the money he said it is the lord's money but this guy is now saying you want me to be the one praying for the sick then i'll be giving you glory you are shining up there i'm here suffering and praying for people are you getting the point now he said it, it, it was see the bible says out of the abundance of the heart so this guy had been locked up in bitterness and anger waiting and say let, let this lord come we are going to flog out this issue once and for all he could not wait number five finishes oh number two he said thank god it's my turn lord i know you are a hard man you like reaping where you do not sow he says and gathering where you have not strawed 25 i was afraid instead of wasting my time to build an empire and for you to come and say it's your own it made me afraid i don't want to waste my time doing something i will not enjoy the glory directly are you getting what the guy is saying i'm not ready to just work for you and then at the end i will now come to you and say all the glory belongs to you all the glory belongs to you oh god that's what these guys did are you getting me they came back and said this is what you have done but all the glory belongs to you all the glory belongs to you oh god this guy was angry he said this song is not for me oh hallelujah and he was telling god his own version of the song what's the version all the glory belongs to me all the glory belongs to me oh god talking to the lord now stood and looked at him eyeball to eyeball are you getting my point now it says and went and hid thy talent in the earth lo here it is collect your team wicked man i can't be walking and then you come back and then you want to take the glory take your talent ah. let's listen to what the master called him verse 26 the lord answered and said thou and thou wicked and lazy servant thou knewest that i reap where i sow not and gather where i have not sown. what brought you into ministry since you knew that the glory belongs to me oh god give me talent give me church god gave you two members now you are complaining who pursued you who put a gun and said enter ministry hallelujah thou oughtest therefore to have put my money to the exchangers and then at my coming i would have received it with interest 
verse 28 therefore listen this is what will happen to any man that is found unfaithful it says take therefore it's not only the devil that takes from people it's in your bible god can take away from unfaithful men and bless those who are faithful take therefore the talent from him and give it to him that has what in other words take from the one who is least faithful are you getting my point now and give it to the one who has proven to be more faithful listen all the three were servants all the three were emojis all the three were graduates right but over time the master kept studying their lives and he found out that this faithfulness this formula that qualifies men to the next level they had it in different degrees so you can graduate we all graduated from so 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 and so department and then after three years you will find out that the other person probably the one you've been laughing at are you getting my point when i heard khadija giving her testimony i just sat down and i said to myself oh god i can tell you in all sincerity and it's not because she's here while she was here she was faithful very faithful please sit down god bless you sir. hallelujah could this be what has been stopping you from entering the next level hallelujah and i'll make it very practical now so that you will understand i told you the blessings of god always come in levels no matter how anointed you are a lot of people have gotten into trouble for instance from all these these comings and all these these things that they do on internet you just go on internet and say you won 2.5 million dollars and you are foolishly smiling to yourself say don't tell anybody and you keep quiet you see that you just go around dreaming you see people shouting at you you say it's only a matter of time i'm coming the reason is because we do not understand the way the kingdom is built when you know how god blesses and lifts people at once you will know what is not of god is someone hearing what i'm saying now hallelujah somebody walks up to you sorry about the light i'm sure they are working on it hallelujah it's a good way to preach no distraction no looking at ladies you hear the word undiluted thank you jesus let me use the opportunity and say what i have to say f ah praise god sorry about the sound when god trusts you with small and you refuse to regard it and be faithful then you do not qualify to walk into the greater levels hallelujah I know there are many kingdom principles that can accelerate accelerate our blessings we have double portion we have sevenfold anointing huh we have the favor of god tapping into prophetic uh, uh unction or fountain or whatever but let me tell you and listen i learned this in a very painful way look up please i want to talk to you never try to lift a man that God has not lifted you will be fighting God and you will be an enemy of God and he will curse you there are many of you you see certain people at the same position and you'll be like ah, uh -uh. oh God but this sister is faithful God you said you should have blessed her and God is saying leave me alone I'm the one who sees the heart of men listen if God does not lift anybody leave them there are you getting what I'm saying many people have entered into a lot of casualties because they want to help certain people you see a man of god and you say after two years your church is still five members Abba, 
Oh God, but you are anointed. You are such a nice brother. You greet every sister that comes. And God is saying, continue talking there. I know why I kept five people. Then you will see another person who looks very scattered and suspicious. And God blesses the person. I say, God, this thing, I think we need to coordinate this. God is saying, who is the Lord? Is somebody learning something tonight? Say faithfulness. Say it again, faithfulness. The blessings of God always come in levels. That means whatever level God gives you, the greatest way to prepare for the next level is not to be crying and fasting and say, Oh God, when will it come? When will that anointing come? When will they start putting water for? Come, come and carry this my water and bring. Oh yeah, now. Bring this my water. Some of you, when you saw them putting the water, you were just looking and say, Ah, when will my turn come? It will never come till you stop thinking about it. Hallelujah. When you see the people serving it, you just laugh. And in your mind, you're already wishing, Oh Lord, give me a church. Give me a ministry. End this my inferiority complex, Oh Lord. And God is just watching you. He say, you think the kingdom is a place of joke. See that? That's what, that's what some of us, you know, ah, yeah, the things that people think about in the house of God. As a hot message like this is going on, there are many people looking at so many things, being distracted at so many things. Hallelujah. Faithfulness. You came into a church and they say, okay, join the workers. Say, join which kind of workers? I was Bible study secretary in my, my, my local assembly. I even led the choir. You are now giving me chair to clean. God didn't send me that I would do that one. No. Give me something that is charismatic. Evangelism or prayer or something that will bring me out on the scene. Hallelujah. And then you will find out that you can be in that church with them. God trains you. At that season, he will build you. There is a season in your life where you can make mistakes and go scot free. God is building you. Are you getting my point? When you prove yourself to be faithful, one day God will come to you and say you have been faithful. You are always cleaning chairs. You are coming early. By two o'clock you come. Nobody knows you, but you are cleaning the chairs. And as you are cleaning the chairs, you are saying, oh Lord, I thank you. Those who will sit on these chairs will be blessed. Somebody may look at you and say, sister, if it's husband you want, come for miracle service. You know, that's how people talk. Once they see commitment in the house of God, they say, the way this sister is walking, I'm sure there's one brother that is eyeing her. Must it be so? Or when a brother is doing something, he says he's looking for a pastor. The way this guy is doing, his pastor is looking for. Commit yourself to be faithful. I've shared my testimony was it in 94 or so 94 95 hallelujah there used to be a man a church that started called power praise chapel the name of the man i don't know if the church is still there or if the man is still there emmanuel amechi ani i'll never forget his name they started the church in a hotel not too far from our house and they brought somebody that would teach me keyboard he was part of those who brought somebody so when the church started they said i should come and play keyboard when i came to the church no choir no nothing i would trek from my house with my own money and my own keyboard and take it to the church i've said it again they never gave me anything no thank you after service the only thing they gave me once was fanta and one cassette when the man did his launching one fanta bottle fanta and one cassette and i accepted it with gratitude in fact it was my father started getting concerned because i would go to a local church i would come back and then have to go and play keyboard for them and trek back home but god is my witness i never had cause to complain once listen if you are working in a place and your leaders are not good and you find yourself talking you are sowing a seed you will reap it for sure 
Hallelujah. There are people who will never walk in a place faithfully. Their job is to observe what is wrong. Why is this lady always looking towards where apostle sits and what is her business? Why are you taking it personal? What is your own problem? Shebi, you came to bless God too. Have, be, have you been noticing? Whatever says, you are not the only one. We have been noticing this thing. Rather than getting blessed, listen, listen. Rather than getting blessed, you are just sitting down. That's how they keep doing everywhere. And you will see God lifting them higher. And you will remain there. And you keep getting angry. Because every time God comes, there is a report card. Your faithful service. Hallelujah. Are you getting what I'm saying? A sister can be faithfully sweeping the house of God. And say, Lord, I'm not doing this because I want a husband. But I'm committed. I'm faithful. I will serve you. Whether they laugh at me or not, I will do it. And one day she's sweeping. That's when God will position one brother. Him is coming to pray. God will say, turn left. Say, Lord, what are you saying? Say, turn left. It's time for you to change levels. And the sister is just sweeping her thing. I'm serving the God of miracles. I know yes i know and the naysayers and the backbiters are there watching all of a sudden you will see somebody you saw rise up to a dimension you cannot even look at them again faithfulness hallelujah come to him i'll never forget she used to be the one leading worship before we started koinonia remember somebody will come for those of you who were there Binga. they'll play the guitar and she'll come and lead worship i will never forget one day i lashed them can you remember the day i lashed you seriously very seriously they were not serious with their work and i came that night from i came from the throne room with such an anointing and when i came you know it's not my fault jesus entered the temple when he saw what was going on in the temple say it's the zeal of the lord And that day I made sure that I told them before the meeting they must pray for one hour pray in tongues for one hour clean out every flesh that can corrupt what people need to hear God has honored her today I'm saying this when you see God lifting people in spite of your criticism keep quiet and find out what is being done that you are not doing bless you are you getting my point now say Lord I receive grace to be faithful God gave you an anointing you can't heal any sick body but he gave you grace to preach you have refused to preach you don't do any evangelism say I'm tired of this evangelism that doesn't have power how about I, I let, let me shine too when I pray let the person fall. How can I be frustrating myself? I'm talking, the guys agree with me. I'm quoting a scripture, he's responding back. Lay hands on the guy and let him wake up and know that there is a potential difference. That's what you want. And God is watching. God is saying, Look at this is the level of grace that I gave you, and this is what you are doing with it. Remain there until you learn the art of faithfulness that takes you to another level that's why overtaking is allowed in the spirit you can see a man will come and in one year he has entered some levels and you have been there for three years you get the same job in the same office other people are eyeing the boss shouting there and there this boss likes women the other one is saying lord i thank you for the privilege although they are paying me twenty thousand, i know it cannot do anything i thank you and i'll be faithful the other one is saying we wicked boss you give us twenty thousand. we are here walking you are using a phone of two hundred thousand. you are there grumbling and god is watching you hallelujah do you know god watches your works as you serve as you are faithful god gave you a little level when i started out i didn't start as anointed as this it would have been witchcraft if I started like this. 
line upon line faithfulness i remember when we were very few those who were around one day we went for evangelism in jamaa hospital we went there and invaded the place just went to preach and share the love of christ you are not ready to start small some of you the way you start is true that god has called you in the ministry and you you've seen the stadium you've seen yourself parking wheelchairs and you will never start small you want to start from the stadium one foolish boy brought a letter for me that they want to the spirit of god led them to hold one crusade what's the name of that place where they play golf on your way to huh? polo field i said polo field as if i don't know god you better go and settle down and start small they just came some boys said god gave us an instruction he said i saw it the other the way they were boiling as if they want to start praying i said calm down polo field god gave you a vision go to polo field see all this if you know the kingdom and you understand the structure not even visions will mislead you visions and revelations have made people to do stupid things the word of god that reveals the structure of the kingdom is surer than any dream you will have and any prophetic word you will be given god will never let me tell you take a man who is not faithful and put him in a high position it does not work like that hallelujah it doesn't work like that say i receive grace to be faithful say it i receive grace to be faithful there are many of you i'm telling you you would have left the level that you are now if only you were faithful you've not been faithful with the anointing god gave you you started business god gave you fifty thousand. you are complaining and grumbling out of the profit of the fifty thousand. you bought clothes you bought phone you are shining and you say i'm a kingdom financier god said no way you can sing songs about million you can draw dollars on your pillow you will never be a kingdom millionaire but god trusts you with fifty thousand, and you say lord out of this that you have given your kingdom your kingdom and god says you did this for me and then god will test you and say lay down that isaac and you say lord it's painful but let it go god will say you qualify step into the next level hallelujah god made you a prayer coordinator of your small fellowship and you are faithful you are praying you are seven in the whole group but you are praying oh god bless these people may they find salvation they are walking in holiness they are walking in truth bless them bless their academics increase them there's nobody to tell you thank you nobody to tell you well done even when you know they are criticizing you when you know they are saying this ogasa this your spirituality is too much you say lord bless them i still love them god says this looks like the kind of person i can bless are you hearing what i'm saying you are not faithful there are many people who will never be parents because they have not proven to be faithful children you insult every elderly person around you including your parents and now you want a husband you want a wife with your bad attitude so that you make your child become like what you are god said no way we are rehabilitating the young people in the earth you must change before i trust you are you are you getting what i'm sharing tonight it's a very serious message be faithful stop eyeing a high position somewhere be faithful be faithful hallelujah jesus started with a few disciples and then there were so many people then there was a crowd he didn't just start with a crowd financially god wants you to be a multi-millionaire and you just saw somebody <laughs> one of my friends called me very humorous person and he called me he said josh in my presence somebody bought a jaguar 
a new jaguar 18 million tear rubber hi i said mm -mm, this is the devil here this is not vision this is the devil this kind of lost you see that your own god gave you a golf you are embarrassed <laughs> especially when you see ladies you say come and push this golf out of here now i see this not your own this is what society has made us to become and god is watching you yes you have to open the door from outside but give thanks lord i give you thanks it's better than a bicycle i glorify you i'm not ashamed of it and you get up in the morning you are cleaning it when the tire is as if it's your child that is sick you go and fix it god is saying you have this guy is faithful whenever there is anything in the house of god you say well don't laugh at my golf it's available if he cannot carry people he can carry sound can you use it and god says look at what this guy is doing all of a sudden somebody will walk somewhere and say the lord led me aha to bless you with another car and he said lord it has not changed my faithfulness and you take care of it god gave you a car in three months it has packed up you don't wash it you don't take care of the tire the cars the plugs are everything is jacking you say keep jacking you must keep moving till it dies and you leave it there unfaithfulness unfaithfulness as little as clothes god gives you clothes you don't wash them you don't iron them and you say lord you better bless me all these prophecies that they are giving god is saying what does it cost for me to bless you but you have not proven that you are faithful i receive grace to be faithful that's what i i tell god all the time this work this little work that god has given i i i take it that's why i take my job seriously every time you see me I, i'm in an attitude of seriousness not because there is any human being coming to supervise me i put a sense of urgency time to pray when i'm praying for you nobody disturbs me i shut up the place and i'm praying i say lord you have committed these people and it's my job to pray bless them even those who are not tightened let the tight of the house cover for them while they listen to the message you have not tightened for one year and the heavens are still opening over you let me tell you that these these prayers that we are praying a day will come god will shift you out alone and then you say so this is how the heavens have been faithfulness God gave you the opportunity to play keyboard you don't rehearse you are not serious you are not improving yourself you are there angry with anybody who can see there are certain people because of our lack of faithfulness we never appreciate what gives what God gives us we always want more and we are always envious and angry at people rather than being faithful intimidated by people and we oh god i want this i want this and many of us get into all kinds of things that's what has made many men of god to get into witchcraft the truth is the honor they want to get is going to come how many of you know that all of us here will be blessed we are going to be blessed the millions will come a day will come the things you admire now see I used to think I like food. It's a lie. I don't like food. Lack. Everybody say lack. There is a there is a way lack can hit you. It will create lust in you. Anything you see, it must finish before you rest. That's what was happening to me. Listen, the things you admire about people that make you unfaithful with God if you can be faithful you will walk in it all these cars you see an average young man under pressure people lie everywhere say I ask them where are they walking say i'm, I'm walking with one uh, uh construction what is the name i say it's a construction company i shuttle abuja and uh, zaria so what are you doing now i came to solicit for another job is it true it's a lie what is pursuing you impatience and lack of faithfulness whereas you are working in a cafe that's the construction company you are working in a cafe and you are embarrassed by it whereas you would have been faithful god has blessed me with a job 
Don't say I'm managing. You are not managing. You are creating a report card that will bless you. Hallelujah. I'm in a cafe now. How much do you earn? I earn 5,000. Say you. What kind of, why are you falling your hand like this? No problem. Say if it's 5,000, let me give you your salary for this month. And people intimidate you. No problem. He should carry his money and keep showing everything. You just be faithful. Sister, till now, you cannot afford a withdrawal of one five. No problem. No problem. I can plant. I'm using my natural hair, but I love God and I'm faithful. I won't follow any man because of money. My God will give it to me. One of the miracles God did in my life is that I never, this craving, this craving for material things that you see somebody and say, Oh God, if you don't take me there, no. One day I went to buy a suit. And somebody said, this is the fashion in town. I said, I don't know who are the day. I will buy what I want. Don't put any pressure on me. Who are the day? What fashion? Where? I buy what is good. I buy what I like. I pay for it. If I cannot pay for it, I go and wait patiently. Many of us, there are shops you cannot pass right now. You have eaten almost one quarter of everything there. Your money is not enough to buy it, but you must buy it. Every time you pass, I want black currant. How much? 600. How much do you have? 59. Just give me. Because we cannot be faithful at this level. Everybody say, I receive grace to be faithful. Refuse to be embarrassed at the level you are now serve god faithfully let men criticize you let men talk let them say you are looking for a name let them say you are looking for a husband or wife no problem be faithful the god who sees your faithfulness when he begins to reward you even you you can't stop it you have a ministry here god has committed two people be faithful pray for the two people pray teach them truth if you have 200 naira and they are hungry sacrifice it god is watching that was what happened to david everybody say david david for a few sheep brothers and sisters david went to the wilderness he risked his life to save a few sheep the brothers had thrown him down but god was watching him and Eliab and all the happening guys God was just watching them. When it was time for, for people to be blessed, Eliab came out, broad chested. God said, no way. These are not the kind of people. I'm not looking for warriors on the throne. I'm looking for faithful servants. You are in the worship team. They never gave you a song to back up. But that, I mean to, to lead. But when you stand here, huh, and you are faithful, you are singing from the depths of your heart. You don't just grumble and say, this coin on yourself, the way they do their things. Just a few people who are shining. Once you hear people complaining like that, the truth is, is they want themselves to be in that position. They will use a third party statement. They say, why is it that only a few decoration ladies are sitting in front? Once you hear people talk like that, they are not lawyers. They are not advocating for anybody. They are speaking for themselves. It's not like I'm speaking about myself or it's not me. I, I, who asked you? Say I receive grace to be faithful. God wants to increase us financially. But what have you done with the finances that God has given you? You keep wasting money around. Throwing money everywhere. Doing things that do not glorify God. And then you stand and believe that God is going to carry 1 billion or 10 million or 100 million and give to you. And then you see God bless someone else and you are like, ah, God. I receive grace to be faithful. Lord, I thank you. If it is to sweep, the psalmist said, I, I'd rather be a doorkeeper. A doorkeeper. God is speaking to someone tonight. I want to lift you up but you have not been found faithful you have not been found faithful the little anointing i gave you 
you have only been falling and rising you've not done anything with it hallelujah there are ministries who will never experience the prosperity of god not because they are not tithing but they are not faithful they are not faithful at all the members raise offering the men of god misuse the money they do anything they want to do with it the man of god is celebrating a birthday party and they they waste so much amount and the ministry is just starting they don't have that kind of money you see that and we put pressure we men of god put pressure on people make me the biggest cake thirty thousand. make me this and this is the money of the house of god you're using it and wasting it and god says no way you can't rise beyond this level but god commits resources to a house and he's seen the way the the finances of the lord's house are being used he's seen the faithfulness he's seen accountability god says you are ready to move higher who is god speaking to tonight you've been unfaithful god gave you one room you never cleaned it for once everywhere in the room is leaking including under the house you have never said let me call somebody to smell he says is it my property this bq is it my property and you want god to honor you you want god to bless you hallelujah your neighbor always picks you and brings you for koinonia you've never said let me contribute small foil two thousand naira you had the car making all kinds of noise you cannot be faithful god will never never it doesn't work that way who is god speaking to tonight many of us will need to pray tonight and say lord i repent i've not been faithful you want to rise higher uh -uh. you watch television and you see great people like david oyedeko and you see all of the crowds and all of the things and there are men who sit down just wishing and they dreaming wishing and they dreaming say let's calculate how much prophet offering will come to this man now see what you are thinking say ah a man with this crowd the money you carry that anger and come back to your small fellowship and you see four people four committed people say, didn't i tell you to bring five five people why have stand up why have you not brought five five people you must bring five five people have you been faithful the the five people are not learning anything for one year they cannot tell you one kingdom principle you've not made warriors out of them they don't pray they don't fast they don't grow they are not knowing the lord they lack intelligence and god is saying this is the same thing you will do if i give you 100 people there are many men of god who want crowd they don't study they don't pray you meet them all the time they are snoring snoring playing computer games watching football you think ministry is just an occupation and god looks at your heart and says no i can send you to go and assist i can send you to go and help but i will never send you to lead my work you are not faithful you are vulnerable he leads me and guides me to the city up above he leads me and guides me to my place of destiny listen there were times i would prophesy and speak over people nothing will happen maybe in a crowd like this there may just be one testimony and i said i will be faithful if i cannot pray for the sick at least i can pray for the people and i know god will hear my prayer god saw my heart till today till tomorrow god knows that my desire for more anointing is never so that they will say joshua selman is a great man people say all kinds of things send all kinds of text messages and i thank god but god knows for the rest of my life I remain a servant serving the house of God forget about all of this little honor that comes this is if you want it the welfare the welfare can give you when you see all the protocol standing following me ah when koinonia started I used to climb bike machine 
during miracle service there will be crowd inside and outside you just see me coming on machine shape blah, 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 blah. bless your people oh god change their story change their life and it was never an embarrassment it was a protocol department that decided they said kai please honor to whom honor is due this is over tomorrow now somebody will see me coming down from a jeep that god has blessed me with you will now be angry why are you angry i climb bike i enter taxi some of you are embarrassed to enter bus after service to go you say no let them not know that I didn't come with my car and you start explaining to everybody my car was faulty who asked you enter the bus and go home enter the bus and go home everybody knows you are still rising there is no revelation that will convince us you have gotten there we are all young people rising it's just that some are faster than others what's the embarrassment about somebody comes to your room and it's only gary you have you are hiding until the leather falls out of your wardrobe and you embarrass yourself bring it out and say this is what i have god is faithful the day you buy a recharge card lord i thank you i could afford a recharge card the day you buy a fridge see don't be embarrassed let men see you at your level now so that they will see the faithfulness of god great is thy faithfulness oh god my father there is no shadow of turning with thee thou changest not thy compassion they fail not as thou hast been thou forever will be great is thy faithfulness great is thy faithfulness Morning by morning, you must sing it from your heart. All I have needed, I have just provided. Great is thy faithfulness, Lord, unto me. Some of you are even ashamed to introduce your parents to other people. Because your mother sells a car and your father is a carpenter and you are a fine lady, you don't want to fall your hand. That is foolishness of the highest order. The person who played the fatherly role of Jesus was a carpenter. Are you getting my point? Get this childishness out of your life. There are some of you here, the work that you do, you wash clothes for people, is better than prostitution, is better than stealing. Learn dignity in labor. Be faithful there. You're working and they're giving you 200 naira. It's small, but the 200 naira is with dignity. There are many of you. God gave you an idea. You and somebody put a small joint for a car and you laughed. You laughed at God like Sarah. He said, God, if you don't, if you cannot bless me, I can wait. There are some of us here. God told you, I will take you far, but start selling used clothes. You said, Ha! Ah, God, used clothes. I have never worn a, a, these clothes that the one, uh, what they call it? Hallelujah. I only wear designers. Why will I now begin to sell used clothes? Oh Lord, you are falling my hands. And God will say, You never will qualify to rise to that level where you will be committed with the true riches of the kingdom some of you are you are not in any unit not in your church not in koinonia you don't serve you don't do anything your job and you've been coming here for a long time your job is to sit down watch others and complain about what is not done do you know that faithfulness faithfulness is how god blesses people hallelujah someone can say me oh god i put it as a self-imposed work my my covenant with you is that every time i will be cleaning the pulpit i would lie us with decoration please give me the opportunity my job is to be cleaning the pulpit of the house of god 
nobody needs to know you see take what i'm saying seriously if you are interested in rising to the new level there is a level of death that must happen to you you must show god that you are not ashamed of your current level hallelujah there are people in the house of god faithfulness god gave you little blessings and they say let's kneel down in the presence of god you now lay down one hand as if as if you are asking your wife out to marry you kneel down before the presence of god and be serious the one who has kept your life all this nonsense people do in the house of god i tell you papa adeboye till today he travels around the world what's that thing that they play tambourine right he carries his tambourine among the the world's hundred most influential people it has not changed him he takes his tambourine whenever he goes to a place no matter who you are he will get down on his knees and start singing to the one who took him from where he was and brought him here i choose to be faithful i will never allow anything stop me from rising to the new level that's why you can listen to a man it's not like he has so much rema or he has so much but you will just say may god increase you and the door will open because of faithfulness and some people will come on on stage and shout as if they are forwarding a tape and nothing happens to anybody this is the place of the anointing you will find the anointing in the place of faithfulness this morning i was just worshiping and i said lord will you bless your people worship was just playing early in the morning and i was crying tears were coming out i said lord there are people coming tonight with burdens there are people coming trusting god a lady came in from just i'm sure she's around this lady took a step of faith nobody no place to stay she just came in she said i'm tired of what is happening in my life how could i come and stand on the stage and then begin to make all kinds of noise that's why we pray that's why i take this work that god has given because i know that before i was born god has been blessing people and if i'm not serious he will get me out of the stage and you see let me tell you dr paul and Encher said it is god who will use the calabash to fetch water so that he will disgrace the pot when the pot thinks i'm the only one god will use calabash with holes inside and still fetch water never find yourself thinking god cannot do without you that is a big deception oh god can do without joshua selman god forbid if i die today ah yes you'll cry for one week you say why did he die you go and listen to all my messages that i say i wouldn't die say till he has died after one week case closed you will fight yourselves looking for who to lead here and by the time you finish the fight something will... <laughs> ah thank you for this deliverance oh lord i have no business in all of this nonsense my desire is to serve you my one desire is that you be praised is that you be praised i tell you that's that's my desire that you be praised and i will be faithful in doing this my one desire is that you be praised that you be praised you want the anointing be faithful you want greater levels be faithful where you are right now whatever department you are working be faithful stop complaining stop finding fault contribute your quota and god who sees what you are doing god gave us a word that is lifting us and that means he's calling on us to be faithful one of these days god is going to be moving across this congregation checking the report cards of men let me see your prayer life did you pray for the house where nobody saw you were you worshiping in spirit and in truth hallelujah i told him lord whatever will change my faithfulness 
in service whatever will make me to stop seeking the blessings of your people and start looking to build an empire for myself so that you say this is joshua selman and all the great works he has done oh may it be far from me if there is any prayer you will pray for me don't pray that god should give me money don't, don't pray all those things they will come naturally pray and say lord give him focus never to be distracted by all these things that cause great men to fall ministry you want this you want branches oh 26 branches the man of god now has a television ah ah my one desire is that you be praised is that you be praised is that you be praised god is talking because there are lots of young people rising with anointing and grace but you need a lot of guidance and grace otherwise you will just run with zeal without knowledge and you will crash land very badly stop mentoring the lives of wrong people who teach you that grace is grace of god is working in your life all of a sudden in two months your church grows to fifty thousand people is witchcraft god doesn't build people that way are you getting what i'm saying hear a little god will trust you with little be faithful when you are faithful with the little he trusts you he will take you higher and then leave you at that realm then you will be faithful then he will take you higher then you will be faithful then he will take you higher then you will be faithful then he will take you higher then you become arrogant then you remain in that level you add another arrogance you go down small then it reminds you that god can do without you then you repent and then you rise higher that's how people keep moving up and down as if they are playing computer game but once you maintain a life of humility that's how the, your path will be as a shining light men will just keep seeing you rising because god will say the way you love me bless you that's why sometimes i worship him in your presence so that you can see that you should never get into get to any level where you become too big some of us what we need to repent of tonight is big manism when you come to the presence of god pack whoever and whatever you have i love i love i love your presence i love i love I love your truth. I love, I love. I love your presence. I love, I love. I love your truth. If only headache is being healed now, be faithful. The day God gives you an opportunity, to pray for someone's head pray for the head don't go and try and just get up god didn't lead you you go and tell somebody in the name of jesus you are seeing the person no legs you say legs grow you disgrace yourself and scatter what god has been trying to do god is trying to announce you slowly you now went and cancelled it because of pride or impatience right two dangers or two enemies of faithfulness very quickly and i'll round up number one is pride pride makes us not to be faithful at the level that we are in pride obadiah 1 verse 3 i saw a scripture that blew me i'll round up right now obadiah 1 verse 3 is god challenging someone tonight obadiah 1 verse 3 everybody read the pride of thy heart has deceived thee thou that dwellest in the cleft of the rock whose habitation is high that saith in his heart who shall bring me down to the ground your pride has deceived you so that when 
God has given you grace for Saria. Pride has made you believe that you are supposed to be in a television ministry. Pride stops men from being faithful. There are many churches in all kinds of death now going to television ministry that they have no business going to. God has not anointed them to that level yet. See, if God does not send you, you can still move. But the question is, life will ask you who is sending you. Many of us, pride, pride, the humility to remain at the level that you are in. Where are you walking? Ah, uh, I shuttle between Zaria, Abuja, and Joss. What's wrong with saying, God is helping me? I've started. And I'm in Zaria. I'm doing something. God is faithful. Don't say I'm managing. Don't use that language. What you call managing is the prayer request of somebody else. We're managing with all these people while I'm working on another white-collar job. It is in that place of managing you will meet your miracle that will take you to another level. So you refuse to be faithful because you think you are managing. How much are they paying me in this primary school? I'm teaching primary one to primary six. You are teaching them much. You are not faithful. Like David in the wilderness. If you are faithful, one day God can give you your own business empire and you sit down and say, I once was a school teacher. Hallelujah. A young man met me one time. I looked at him. I said, how are you, sir? He said, fine. The way he was saying fine, as if he was going to push me. He was going to introduce himself. I'm so so person. I deal with oil and gas, specifically offshore. You know, I have the company, and I'm doing this and that and that. And the XYZ said I should meet you for XYZ, and all kinds of stories. And then I was just looking at him. And after he made all those noise, you see if you are blessed you are blessed even if you are blessed and you choose to wear slippers you are still blessed if you are not blessed you are not blessed even if you choose to borrow a car you are still it's not your own after making all of that noise and jargon i was just looking at this brother why put yourself under pressure if you see the kind of cards that he printed war suit pencil tie oil and gas say so I receive grace to be faithful at the level that God has, has brought me receive grace oh God Jordan please stand up come I know when oh God listen let me tell you something I'm sorry if I pry a bit into your private life how many of you know life way for many years jordan walked with them and served faithfully many years while he was learning faithfully god was looking he never knew that one day he will have his own bookstore are you getting my point but he was faithful i will never forget when god blessed him his his shop was so small it was like a console room a few books here and there but God is lifting him. The last time I spoke with him, he's already making negotiations to begin to bring books directly from outside the country. This is what faithfulness can bring. There are people who have been binding demons for years and nothing has happened because of their arrogance. Listen. Say in the name of Jesus, I receive grace to be faithful with what God has given me and at the level he has placed me say it again in the name of jesus i receive grace to be faithful the clothes you cannot afford now be patient are you hearing what i'm saying the hair you cannot buy now be patient brothers the shoe you cannot buy now the dress you cannot buy now be patient that's the second reason why people the second enemy of faithfulness impatience i always preach and i say impatience has cheated many people many of our parents are in debt of 
billions of naira today because they try to build a house that their colleagues were building that your financial level has not reached foundation enough at 50 million it would have built an estate a comfortable estate in a place i must go to gra i must go to my tama i must build in lekki whereas god gave you wisdom one small place outside the town six million would have comfortably built a house that you would have been renting you've carried many families are suffering today because of the ego of our parents pride made them to go and enter a deal that their finance cannot take sold the car sold the house sold the property sold everything because of impatience everybody say i receive grace to be patient say it i receive grace to be patient especially those of you in business say i receive grace to be patient there's no hurry be patient a prophecy has already gone ahead that you will be blessed be patient be patient do you know what patience can do in your life the bible says follow them who through faith and patience you are in ministry be patient say i will be patient say it again i will be patient stop getting up and your body is just shaking i want to organize program i want to organize program your body is just shaking you don't have the money i want to organize program and in that program i want to invite benny Hinn. i want to invite paul and i want to invite papa you god is leading you and say invite one brother in your fellowship that god is helping say, ah, which kind of brother i want the one that the, the posters very funny things people do there are ministries that run themselves down trying to invite men of god that they do not have the financial capacity and the organizational capacity to host them they just want a name i brought abc i brought xyz now you go and bring a man from london matthew ashimolo in your small church of 100 people and now the whole bill and everything for bringing the man and hosting the man is five or ten million and you are there sweating praying prayers you should not have prayed you would have quietly gone to lagos or come down to zaria or anywhere and find brothers and sisters who god is helping say i receive grace to be patient rise gradually i believe in faith i am a man of faith but faith is not foolishness are you getting me you rise from faith to faith you rise from stage to stage there are some of us right now you are in level one some you are in level two some god has blessed you are in level five be patient in the ark of noah the cheetah the fastest animal entered there the snail also got there it's a matter of time wherever god has not taken me i don't want any man to take me there are times i have consciously refused certain levels of exposure because i know in my spirit that the season for that dimension of exposure has not come and although there is room to go by the time you go you will die that's why a man of god can leave one geography go to another place and start failing and you are wondering is this not the anointed man you used to know hallelujah i will go i will go anywhere you lead me i will go rise up on your feet two prayer points and we're out of this place i don't just want to sound what god is saying just like i'm just making noise hallelujah all those who are worshiping with us for the first time i want you to come out i want to lay my hands on you the lord is leading me to do this all those worshiping with us for the first time i want you to just come out and stand here i want to lay my hands and prophesy upon your life please very quickly we're out of time everyone if this is your first time of coming just come and line up here Hallelujah.
I want to lay my hands and prophesy the blessing of the Lord upon you. God is able to do just what he says he will do. He's got a fulfill every promise to you. Don't give up on God, cause he will give up on you, say, say, oh. Hallelujah. I want to thank all of you for coming. Hallelujah. The Lord bless you. We honor you. We celebrate you. Now listen, when I lay my hands on you, as soon as I lay my hands on you, I just want you to go out. There is a committee that will meet with you. Hallelujah. They will meet with you and just greet you warmly. Ideally, I'm just supposed to call you, pray, and just bless you. But the Lord is leading me to lay my hands on you. Hallelujah. I like you to be praying. And as I lay my hands on you, just a touch. I want you to believe God. Whatever it is that you came here trusting God for. I want you to believe. As I lay my hands on you, for many of you, doors will be opened supernaturally. I want you to desire it. Lift your voice and begin to pray. Everyone in the congregation, stretch your hands. I will be very fast. Very fast. Just a touch. When I lay my hands on you, just follow the other people outside. Thank you, Father. Bless them, oh God. Bless them. I anoint you in the name of the Lord Jesus. And I, I anoint you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I anoint you by the power of the Holy Ghost. I anoint you in the name of Jesus. I anoint you by the power of the Holy Ghost. I anoint you. Receive the anointing. Receive breakthrough in every area of your life. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Receive breakthrough. Let the hand of God be strong upon you. May the grace of God be at work in your life. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, I rebuke every spirit, every power of darkness that wants to destroy your life. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, be free from any assault of darkness. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, I lay my hands upon you and I take authority over everything that is not of God in your life. Return with dramatic testimonies by the power of the Holy Spirit. Whatever is not working in your life, I command it to work now. In the name of Jesus Christ, I command that the heavens are open towards you. The heavens are open over you. In the mighty name of Jesus, by the hand of the mighty God, the heavens are open towards you. In the name of the Lord Jesus, in the name of the Lord Jesus, enjoy unlimited grace. Enjoy open doors by the power of the Holy Ghost. By the power of the Holy Ghost, in the mighty name of Jesus, may the hand of God come strong upon your life. May he anoint you mightily. In the name of Jesus, may the grace of God speak in your life. Rise from one level of grace to another. In the name of Jesus, be blessed. You are blessed by the power of the Almighty. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Two prayer points. Prayer point number one. Oh God, take away pride and impatience from my life lift your voice and pray take away pride 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 and impatience please pray it lord take away pride pride that stops me from being faithful at the level you have placed me i take away that pride by the power of the holy ghost pray I pray I receive grace to stay at the level God has placed me I receive grace to be faithful I receive grace to be faithful faithful to God faithful to man faithful in the house of God pray I receive humility in the name of Jesus I refuse a fake life I remain faithful and God will honor me and bring me to a place of prominence it won't be long because my faithfulness is my report card that will qualify me to experience greater levels of grace now pray against impatience I receive patience in my life patience to move gradually patience 
to move one step at a time i'm not in a hurry i'm not in a hurry to be rich i'm not in a hurry to be influential i take my time i go through the school of the spirit i remain properly trained properly trained to be used by god i am well equipped i move from one level to the other hallelujah 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 this prayer point is for those of us who have been faithful at the current level if you truly know under god that you have been faithful doing what you are doing in your business in your academics in your marriage in your life in the house of god towards god don't try to pray for eight hours every day start with 30 minutes or one hour be faithful don't bring all those religious expectations that make you feel you are getting spiritual you pray eight hours today the next time you pray again is after four months when you have one terrible nightmare you are cheating yourself you if you pray 15 minutes in tongues every day faithfully for three months you will grow better than somebody who prays 10 hours today never to visit the throne room again it's about consistency and faithfulness then grace is poured upon you and you can now move higher don't try to read 100 chapters of the bible for now you can buy devotionals buy a devotional and use you do not yet have the level of spiritual intelligence for some of you where you can navigate the world on your own be humble use the devotional let it help you when you become grown in the world you can now begin to explore you are not using the devotional and you are not praying hallelujah for those of you who have been faithful i like you to pray and say lord i connect to the anointing for the next level lift your voice and pray if you truly know that you have been faithful lift your voice and pray i receive grace oh god according to your word higher dimensions of prosperity higher dimensions of the anointing higher dimensions of influence pray for yourself hallelujah hallelujah before i make the altar call let me advise you if you are not committed anywhere in the house of god whether in your church or in koinonia here or in your fellowships or you are cheating yourself there are certain levels of service or certain levels of lifting that only service can bring you can enter your marital destiny cheaply through service in the house of god you can enter certain levels of the anointing cheaply you can enter a level of financial prowess sometimes i teach the leaders most times i teach the leaders on finances and these are things that they receive free because they are faithful working in the house of god during the retreat the workers retreat we have the opportunity to lay hands on all the workers there are benefits and spiritual privileges you will never compare yourself with someone who is faithfully serving in the house of god and for those of you who are serving either in koinonia or in your churches if you don't desire to serve leave don't be in a place a department or a unit in your church you are grumbling about everybody you are gossiping about everybody you are fighting about everybody leave leave never find yourself doing that don't find yourself opening your mouth gossiping and castigating your pastor or the man of god that god has placed over you, you you are bringing a curse upon yourself there is a there is the all-seeing eye of the almighty god and whoever is not faithful with what god has given him god himself will judge your job is to be faithful 
the bible says it is required of a steward that he be found faithful hallelujah praise the lord those of us who are giving our lives to christ there are people here who are saying man of god i want to rededicate my life to jesus or i've never given my life to christ and this is the beginning of the faithfulness i preached a message in just last week called the matrimony of love if you can get that message it will bless you four hours it's a powerful message teaching on how marriage describes our relationship between god and how that god desires the church to be like a faithful bride hallelujah when if you lay your hands on it get it it will bless you but right now there are people inside and outside the lord jesus is speaking to you right now and he's telling you it's time please everybody rise we're rounding up we want to give those people an opportunity you've never given your heart to the lord or you have given your heart to the lord but you found out that you've not been faithful you've not been faithful you've been walking in ways that are not of god and you're saying lord i'm sorry i want to make my ways right i invite you right now please come out please celebrate them as they come don't wait for anybody the lord is speaking to you that you need to make your ways right with god hallelujah inside or outside please clear the way for them if there are people like that please make sure you don't sit back it is always our duty god bless you god bless you thank you it's always our duty to make sure that we make altar calls god bless you if you are still staying in the crowd god is calling you if you hear the voice of god tonight leave your seat and come out and say lord i want to be faithful i'm ready to commit my life i'm ready to commit my ways i'm ready to start afresh with jesus christ hallelujah keep coming hallelujah now those of you in front very quickly we're out of time i celebrate you and i thank you for the courage lift your right hand as i leave there's one of you here you smoke you smoke all kinds of things god is warning you the power of those that addiction will leave you once and for all hallelujah lift your right hand please from the depths of your heart you are not just repeating after me you are talking to the lord say lord jesus i come before you unable to help myself I ask you tonight show me your mercy show me your grace help me save me cleanse me from all unrighteousness tonight I declare that I'm for Jesus I receive eternal life into my spirit and I make up my mind by the grace of God to live for Jesus from today and for the rest of my life Satan I have no business with you I am for Jesus in the name of Jesus Christ now let me pray for you father preserve these ones you brought them out bless them preserve them by the power of your spirit may they enjoy sweet fellowship with the Holy Spirit I break habits I break addictions I cast out devils and every wicked spirit that is responsible for jeopardizing your Christian experience and I pray that your 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 altar call will be genuine and you will last may you rise from glory to glory in the name of the lord jesus christ thank you for making this decision please rise up and just follow the altar hello beloved in christ we hope this message was a blessing to you i would want you to do something for us if you are new here kindly hit on that subscribe button for us and then like this video as well share to your family and friends to bless them because we know that this message will be a blessing to their body, to their soul, and to their spirit. We would need you to do one thing for us too. Tell us in the comment section where you were watching us from. And if you've got any testimony for us, kindly share with us. Thank you for watching.